This week, all of this week, is uh, Winter Weather Safety Awareness Week. So we're doing a lot of winter related stories this week. Uh, every so often you hear a forecaster mention the term El Nino when discussing the forecast. Well, it's a weather cycle that occurs every three to seven years, and that includes this year. Here's weekend weathercaster Bruce Slusher with a look at how El Nino will affect this winter's weather. This year, our weather pattern is controlled by the El Nino phenomenon. During an El Nino cycle, the water is one to four degrees warmer in the Pacific Ocean near the equator. That warmer water also heats up the air above it. For the northwest Ohio, uh, we expect generally a drier winter than average. Generally, El Nino begins in the summer and peaks in the winter, then fades out by late spring to early summer. This year's El Nino began in June, is expected to be moderate. By looking at El Nino years from the past, meteorologists are better able to understand how it will affect individual areas. I know back in 1982-83, we had some pretty serious El Nino conditions around the, uh, around the world, and we also had, you know, in 97-98. In uh, what do you look at this year uh, compared to something like that? Well, in those years that you just mentioned, those were strong El Nino years, and that meant that the uh, water was uh, quite a bit warmer than normal out in the Pacific Ocean. This year we're expecting a, a moderate intensity event, so the effects of the El Nino will be uh, less than uh, those intense seasons. The average Toledo annual snowfall total is 37.4 inches. Considering El Nino, this year's snowfall total will likely be around 30 inches or below. And let's hope that that holds true. Uh, obviously, I'm not a big fan of a ton of snow like we got last year. Uh, we will keep you posted over the course of the week. Now, as of tomorrow, Larry Watley will take a look at the Old Farmer's Almanac. They've issued their winter forecast, and we'll see how that, that will compare to some of the things we've discussed yesterday and today.